8K. That's a lot of Ks. That's, um, that's kind of ridiculous. Um, the new Canon R5 shoots in 8K. Um, I just got a camera that shoots in 4K. Uh, and I've used it a few times. It's nice. But, um, you know, that was the, that's, that was the big announcement is that, um, that you can shoot video in 8K. Um, I don't know if you can buy an 8K TV. I'm sure you can. It's about $12,000 if I had to guess. Um, so there was a giant um, kerfuffle after Canon announced this because it was clear based on what they put out that, um, that the camera will overheat if you shoot 20 minutes of AK at 30p um, continuously and and I mean if you look on the internet you will see people very upset about this um, some perspective like a, my first video camera was um, a mini DV uh, Canon GL1 uh, I have it laying around here somewhere in the basement um, and it used tape you could you shoot 60 minutes on that at like half a K um, but 20 minutes of a K I, I just don't see the problem like that's I mean it's not a long form you're not shooting I mean I guess eventually well if you want to shoot long form a K you go buy a red you know or not buy you rent you know no one buys those things like you if you're if you're doing that then you're like working with David Attenborough, right? Um, the interesting part to me is that for the 4K specs, which I am staring at on the screen behind you, um, 4K 30 is not limited by heat, so that's most cameras. 4K 60 is 35 minutes, that's acceptable to me. 4K 120, and that's pretty awesome that that camera does, 4K 120 frames a second, is 15 minutes. Like, I don't know what you are complaining about. The camera's like $3,800. I mean, that's a lot of money. I'm not buying one. But um, the ability to shoot in AK. Now, why would you shoot in AK? Well, the same reason I shoot in 4K. Um, you know, everything I do professionally gets dumbed down to um, 1080. You know, um, we, we, I don't know if I've ever published a 4K video. But I'll shoot in 4K so I could crop, I could... Um, correct some shake I could I could it gives you an option and I get that but like don't get so upset about that like there's plenty of things to get upset about but 20 minutes of 8k now it is funny they um is it on here it is good no so after you shoot an 8k and it and it overheats you can wait like three minutes no you can wait 10 minutes to shoot three more minutes like I I am actually kind of impressed at how Canon um, really kind of laid out all of the limitations of both their cameras. I mean, that's, that's kind of neat, you know. Um, and once they're in people's hands, they'll know more. Um, you know, people are like, why doesn't it have a fan? I mean, do you want your, want your camera to have a fan on it? I mean, apparently some um, Panasonic or something does have a fan. Uh, someone was saying a, a, one of those wild looking Sigma cameras had like a heat sink on the back of it like my thought is that if you're if you're doing stuff like that I mean, there's probably people out there who that would be really a deal breaker for them well they can buy you know a Cine camera I'm sure Ken's going to come out with one of their C series or whatever they're called C 300, 400, 500 whatever it is that will um, do AK all day you know that's coming but like, you know, I just, I think this is, this was like one of those mini little controversies that I enjoyed looking at because I knew how it would end where there would be sensible people that would like be like, wait a minute, this is dumb. Why aren't we arguing about this? And, uh, so this was a good example of me, uh, just talking about something that, uh, I, I mean, I can't afford, I don't plan on affording, I don't plan on shooting an AK. Um, but it's interesting to me. It's um, it's uh, one of these moments where 
the hype leading up to this camera was, was seemed pretty ridiculous, you know, and it's been proven that it was, um, that, you know, the camera's not perfect, you know, I, mean, you, I knew that when I read about it, uh, I knew it would cost four grand or so, it wouldn't be as much as the, um, 1DX or whatever, the, the big boy, the $6,000 one, um, and it's almost exactly what I expected, I mean, it sounds great, you know, it sounds like a really worthy, good camera, you know, but, like, it's not going to, I don't know, and 8K is just ridiculous to me, like, like, I'm still kind of getting used to 4K, I still think 4K is, like, exquisite, and, like, why, why, why do we deserve all these Ks, you know, I mean, it's, maybe it's my old eyes, but 1080 is, like, fine, but, you know, so that's my 8K video, uh, this video will be shot in 1080, which is one eighth K. No, two K. I don't know. I don't care. Please. Um, all right. I don't know what my next video is going to be. Um, I appreciate you watching. Uh, this this is another one of these rambling. That's probably what this channel is. It, it's going to be me staring into this this little camera and um, and rambling a little bit and. You either like it or you don't, you know? I just, I like it. A case, enjoy your case.